Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub, sir. Welcome back to Night in the Woods. Well, last episode was a little out of left field, wasn't it? We spent the whole episode playing uh, a game on May's laptop, Demon Tower. We beat it, I believe, anyway. I've got a feeling we missed out a trick on the last boss, but I won't go into that. Check out the video if you're wondering what that was like. But yeah, we didn't really make any progress <laughs> with the story. There it is down there, Demon Tower. There's Power Cat our protagonist of that awesome hidden gem to be honest it's brilliant so now I guess we should get back to this side of the laptop the chatter box so what does this say I can't do anything with that that's fine uh, this looks, looks like something from Greg hey you get that porn off your laptop I heard you broke it with so much porn <laughs> yeah let's be open with Greg dude you know it Rick Wreckage told me that before the internet, they'd hide porn in hollow <laughs> in a hollow log in the woods. Can we just take a moment for that name? Rick Wreckage. That's a brilliant name. Yeah, that was a thing, right? Be awkward if you were hiking out to the porn, and some dude was already there, and you were like, Sup, dude. I guess we're both here for the porn. I bet that happened. You know it did. I bet they became friends. <laughs> porn log bros forever. Oh, I love Greg. So, dude, you're coming to the party tomorrow night, right? What party? Up in the state forest. Lots of people home from school and stuff this weekend. Cool people. The, the big fire. The snacks. Yeah, the snacks. The beers. <laughs> Did you mean to write snacks or snakes? Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Both, dude. Both. Cool. Well, you should ask... Oh, Bia, if she can drive us. What? No, I don't think she likes me. No, dude, she's cool. She drives us all the time and lets us borrow her car. Stop by her store tomorrow and ask, okay? Please. Okay, whatever. Yay! Greg, you're one in a million. Bloody hell. Wish I had your energy. Okay, what's this? I guess it turned out okay then, your computer? Oh, this is Angus. Yeah, it did, thanks. I put something else on that drive. Do you remember Demon Tower? Oh, Angus, don't even talk to us about Demon Tower. I just blitzed through it. Yeah, I just played it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, sweet. I've been playing again too. They've kept updating it. We can talk Demon Tower sometime. It's really cool still. Oh, thanks, Angus. Tips. <laughs> oh. Away message. Born to lose. Country trash proud. Drummer. Skate and destroy. Skate to create. Bound for glory. Is that Casey, do you reckon? And I'm guessing that's uh, Beer. Goth Lizard. Bright Harbour Gazette. Secretary of Education. Having public schools is like having public hamburgers. That's insane. Everyone should buy their own hamburgers. Okay. And what's this? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You like the uh, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft paperclip? Quite like you. Right. Well, I think we've done everything we can on here. I could play Demon Tower again, but maybe I'll do that in my own time. Right. Uh, should we head to bed? We got our objective for tomorrow. We need to uh, go find beer. Bedtime. Yes. Been a long day. I'm so jealous of how quickly you fall asleep, May. Right, I might go talk to Angus today as well, you know. He said he wants to catch up about Demon Tower. I'm definitely up for that. Can we play this bass? No. Check the laptop. Nothing new. Oh, wait. Greg. Oh, by the way, Bia works at the old pickaxe, so you, go, so you can go there. Oh, that's good. I actually totally forgot where she works. Get some tools, lol. <laughs> Big axe and go on a rampage, lol. Oh, Greg. I'm glad you're my friend. Can we get to have our morning chat with Mum? Or is it like 4pm? home again 
where the people know my name and my mum's name and my dad's name and about the time I put that kid in the hospital yes tell us more what was all that about yep dad put him here I bet dad should move him it's only fair I'd have to get dad to move them so what would this do reckon that's like a spare bedroom if it is spare who did it used to be you a lonely child mate Alright, what's mum up to? Morning mum. All day mum, every day mum. What are you up to today? Greg and Angus and Bea are going to a party. Why am I struggling with Bea so much? It's Bea, right? I've got to stick with one pronunciation and go with it. So that's going to be Bea, okay? So I might go out with them. A party, huh? Look at you! Back two days and already the social butterfly. Uh, nah, sergeant nerves. Yeah, I'm in pretty high demand. Are you keeping in touch with any of your friends from college? I didn't really make any friends. Not even your roommate? Not that nice girl you met at orientation? Not really. Okay, well, you go out there and have a nice time, honey. I will. See you later. Hey, honey. What? Eels, honey. <laughs> oh, mum. Eels, mum. Actually, let's uh, see if mum's got anything else to say. No, she hasn't. That's what we're getting from mum. Okay. Right. I may head to the right again. I believe there's still going to be construction there. I'm going to have a little browse, a little peruse. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. That's just kind of fun to do. Yeah, they're still working away. You jump on cars, bloody hell. You are a tyrant, mate. No respect for personal property. I like it. Rebel without calls, aren't you? So, what are you up to these days? Um, crashing here until I get back in my own place. Parents rented out half the place to Mr. Chazakov. I've been babysitting, interviewed at Hand Panther. Waiting to hear back. Oh, my dad works at Hand Panther now. They got everything. What if we could pay our dad a visit? There was a lot of people there today. I can legally shoot you for being up here, you know. <laughs> You'd never. I used to babysit your cat. Ugh. If we don't start getting business in here. There ain't gonna be a Possum Springs, so we've gotta do whatever we can do to get the market to notice us. Can we get back to the topic at hand? Yeah, so we allocate funds to preserve the statue of... Gary, you're not hearing me. Don't tell me I'm not hearing you, Andrew. It's not of sufficient historical note. Your ass is not of... <laughs> Your ass is not of <laughs> sufficient historical note. Guys, guys, stop this. This is the stoplight fight all over again. Oh yeah? And remember who won that one? Can we move on? Fine. Fine. Wow. That got a little heated. Luckily it didn't seem to notice me earwigging. That uh arse of sufficient funds really tickled me. <laughs> okay. So we need to go to the pickaxe place. Or pop into Angus. That was the day shift, right? But we don't know what time it is. Then I think there might have been a clock back home, but I uh, missed it. But if we can go by a maze past sleeping patterns, it's like, what, 4pm? What is this guy doing? What you doing up there? Streetlight got tore off in that big storm a few days back. Don't help let idiots keep jumping on it. That's a shame. Spread the word to the other kids. Adults. Oh, oh I don't think so. Adults got jobs and better things to do anyway. Uh, anyway, you just tell those other kids to lay off. Gotta get themselves or somebody else killed. Huh. I mean, I probably won't tell him about my uh, telephone wire jumping antics. Likely to call me an idiot. You know when they're fixing the steps? I desperately need to get to church. Tomorrow, I think. The vampires can't go on sacred ground. I ain't seen no vampires around here. Except maybe the government. Suck at us dry. You've taken over my vampire story. I'm leaving. 
watch out for them bloodsuckers, kid. Adult. <laughs> okay. Steps are up tomorrow. Sounds good. Uh, should we pop under the overpass? The underpass? Probably. So that's where, this is where we got to go. But not where. We will go. Holy crap, the size of that raccoon. Jesus. So what we'll do, we'll go this way, talk to Angus, and then loop back under the underpass. Sounds like a good plan to me. Video 2 outpost. Oh, I thought that was on fire then, bloody hell. Angus! Hey mate, how's the laptop running? Really good, thanks so much. <laughs> Glad to be of service. So, like, yeah? Who rents movies anymore? How's the store still open? Yeah. Who rents movies anymore? More people than you'd think. Older people who don't know any better. Kids who for some reason can't get something. Do you ever want to tell them? What? About the internet? About rental by mail? Yeah. Mate, it's not my job to save them. I am paid to stand here, assist when needed, take their money, and not openly judge them. So this is party tonight, huh? Yeah, should be fun. I hadn't pegged you as a party person. I'm not really, but parties with Greg are different. How so? You know how you want to just go and stand in a corner sometimes? Yeah. Greg's my corner. Aww. <laughs> Shut up. See you later. For sure. Angus, I'm like, you're one cool bear. Love them hat glasses. Anyway, see you later, mate. Okay, let's uh, go under. Where is it? Oh, it's just here. These two probably got something to say. Good to go see Greg as well. I mean, you might as well. Smell the smell that's coming for you. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> and the smell that's coming for you? Right, what's he up to today? Crazy. What was he like? A fox or something? Party, party, party! Jeez, dude, you are excited about this party. You're gonna be there, that's awesome! God, what a great week it's been. You're home! I'm home! Can I wiggle my arms? <laughs> my arms are tired! Oh my god, that was the conversation. You know, when you're best friends with someone, that's what the conversation needs. Okay, see you, Greg. Alright, so we've got to head to Beer. Neighbourhood friendly goth lizard. Right, let's go this way. Oh, the mood seems to have changed down here. Has this music always been there? Hey, kids. Hey, adult. Well, I was your age only a few years ago. Uh-huh. Well, see you later. <laughs> they don't want to know, do they? I wonder if we can uh, get a pretzel yet. Is he still annoyed? Probably. Doesn't seem to get much business down here. No offence to him. Obviously working hard. Right. I think it's about time. Oh my god, that raccoon is still amazing me. I mean, I've never seen a raccoon in the flesh. I don't know how big they are. But that seems like enormous. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Bill, right it up is on the clock. She's not going to like that. I don't care if she doesn't like it. It was her fault, plain and simple. That is time extra. We charge for that. All right, then. Uh, what was all that about? I mean, I don't think Beer would really appreciate me being nosy, but I do want to know. What was all that about? Ugh, don't even ask. Mrs. Miranda has locked one of our guys in her basement twice. Why? Because she's old and she forgets. Maybe if she gets a bill for it, she'll remember next time. Huh. What do you want? 
Well, Greg asked me to ask you if you would like to drive us to the party tonight. You know, the one up in the state park. Thanks for clarifying. Otherwise, I might have been confused as to which of the dozens of parties going down on any given night in Possum Springs you were referring to. Are you being sarcastic? I'll drive. She's smoking indoors, oh my god. Great, thanks. We'll be by your house at 8.30. Be ready or we'll go without you. Okay. Don't get lost on your way home. I know where I live. No, seriously, go home and get ready. Alright, alright, jeez. Beer. Beatrice Santello May Beer? <laughs> what? I don't even know what them noodles are about. Not here to judge. So what do you sell here? Because I can only see keys. Anyway. Hey, time to go home. Wonder what we'll wear to the party tonight. I mean, I think this is a pretty cool outfit. Let's see if we can beat the car. Ah. I hope nothing bad happens at this party. I mean, is there going to be alcohol involved? Greg is pretty nuts already. I wonder what he's like on alcohol. I suppose he's got Angus there to look after him. Right, where do I live? Number nine? Nope. Number eleven. Oh, God. Hey, mate. What? I was just stopping by to see how you would do it. Why? After the other night, I mean. Why wouldn't I be fine? Mate, a lot of things that happen around here, sometimes in town, sometimes out by the tracks, sometimes up in the hills. What? It's my job to make sure folks like you never see something like what you saw the other night. Eh, uh, seems a bit harsh. Looks like you... <laughs> I think it's a better answer than that, though. You're not doing a very good job of it. Better than you might think. I've been back less than three days and I already saw dead body parts. Which wasn't a big deal, but... You didn't see Tom Jennings shoot his brother in the stomach. Last night, out on Dotty Line Road, out past Arnia. He didn't have to walk out into that cornfield. Jeez. You're a kid, mate. And you're naive. In its own stupid way, that's beautiful. But the world isn't. And the world isn't out there somewhere. It's here. Alright, are you gonna arrest me or something? Because I have a party to go to. Watch yourself, mate. I'd really hate to see something happen to you. And being in the wrong place at the wrong time is all it takes. That's all I'm saying. That's, uh, um, I can't say this word, oh my god. That's ominous. <laughs> On ominous. Ominous. Good night, mate. Wow, so our aunt was, uh, being quite stern there, but I think her intentions are, like, meant well. Aunt Walcott is planning to kill me. <laughs> yeah, it did seem a little bit threatening that last part, but. Totally got the lines on the stick. Anyone home? Mum and Dad, that's the first. Hey, sweetie. Look who's home. Hey there, parents. I made tacos. Excuse me, we made tacos. Tacos? Tacos. Do you want tacos? <laughs> oh, I do want tacos. For sure. The family that tacos together, Rocco's together. Honey, no. What? I am so angry right now. You've all turned against me. May, honey, do you want sour cream on your taco? I want everything. I actually wouldn't go for sour cream. I think I'm a little weird in that sense. I don't really like sour cream. Okay, okay, okay. It's go time. Oh, I should probably make sure I don't look like a cave beast. Uh, so have we got clothes somewhere? Alright, a mirror. Looking alright. God, this shirt really accentuates my roundness, doesn't it? I have the worst face. I have a nightmare face. You don't have a nightmare face. I think the round zero doesn't help. 
<laughs> it's cool, dude. Ram is okay. Oh, is this inside? Yeah, maybe, because you have just eaten tacos, so that's a plausible thought to have. I need to stop eating literally everything I see. Oh, don't do this to yourself, mate. Not tonight. Tomorrow you'll do lots of sit-ups. And learn to like horrible things like kale. And everything will be great. You can do this. People like you. Oh no, what is going on? This is horrible. Self-esteem, this is hitting home. I mean... It's just horrible to say about yourself, isn't it? People don't like you, clearly. They do. Greg, Angus, maybe even Bea in our own weird way. You don't like people, clearly. Just because that online test said that your best chance of being happy is a situation where everyone already likes you, but they mostly leave you alone, except when they're delivering food to you, that doesn't mean you can hide in your room and wait for that to happen. That's how hermits are made, May. And they die alone in the middle of the winter, waiting for pizza from friends they don't want to see. All right, what are you gonna say? You're a smooth talker, you're a smoothie. Hi, I'm May, how's it going? Oh, hey, I'm May, what's your name? Hi, I'm May, I dropped out of college earlier this week. <laughs> I think that's a bit full on, let's go with that. And now I'm in the woods, drinking. Jeez, this is yet another road to Hermitdom. Oh, don't worry about it so much, me. You're fine. This is hopeless. We'll be out to the curb for garbage day. Oh, jeez, they'll be here any minute. Good luck, kid. I don't need luck. I'll make my own luck. With a luck machine. The party. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, this will be fine. People like us. We just don't like people. Hey, May, I think Cole might be there tonight. What? Oh, my God. Who's Cole? Um, you remember him. He was in yearbook with us. Oh, Cole. Yeah, I remember him. May and him were a thing for a while. Really? Wow. He was really smart. I'm really smart. Yeah, you are, dude. Well, that's settled then. I think May's pretty smart. Go with that. Definitely witty. Right. It's party time. I wonder what we're drinking. Ugh. That was awful. I hate beer. I can't remember the last time I drank beer. It's not a delicious drink at all. I beg to differ. Let's have some more beer. I don't know if I should have another drink right now. Okay. <laughs> what? Nothing. Okay. Cool party. Yep. Who are you talking to? Not you. Okay, so uh, Bia doesn't want to know. Who is this rat fella? Let's talk to him. Oh god, it's... Is that coal? Or is that coal on a guitar? <laughs> Am I just sitting here? Who do I talk to? Am I just gazing into the fire? Looks that way. Hey dudes. Yo, did you see Coles here? Oh god. You okay? Yeah, totally fine. You gotta talk to him? Yeah, sure. Yeah, man. You sure, man? Yeah, I mean, why should I be weird about it? Well, I mean, you did write that song afterwards. What was it called? Go Get Dead, Angel Face? Ugh. We don't talk about Go Get Dead, Angel Face. Can you guys believe this dude playing guitar? Yep, playing the douchebag hits. I like this song. Is this a douchebag song? Nah, don't worry, big guy. He's a little bit cringy though, look at him. A little bit self-centered. Bandana, guitar, lizard, alligator, guy. So is this Cole? The mouse? There is a douchebag like this at every party. You have no idea, Greg. Back in school, you'd always have some frat boy hanging out on the lawn, trying to look all sensitive. Why is this a douchebag song? Where should we go? Is cold this way? Nope.
will sit again, but I don't think it's the right option. Ah, you must be cold. Oh god, it's... maybe I need another drink. Careful now, mate. Don't want to drink yourself silly. Sigh. I guess beer is just one of those horrible things adults do. Like doing taxes and having babies. Yo! What? You're kind of grouchy, did you know that? No, I didn't. Rude. How long are you planning on staying? May, we just got here like 10 minutes ago. Oh. Are you... How many beers have you had? Two. Pace it out, May. You're tiny. Ugh, don't tell me what to do. I'm going to speak to Greg Marangus again. They're cool dudes. Ugh, problem. Sometimes I just think I just don't like people. Yeah, man, F the world. Yeah, F it. God, someone really should just F the world already. The world has gone uneffed for too long. F him right. Did you guys hear something? Like what? Something in the woods over there. Oh yeah, two people are making out on the rock behind us. That can't be very comfortable. Who needs comfort when you have makeouts? But preferably you have both. It ain't a perfect world, Angus. They really are going up it. <laughs> they really are going at it up there. They sure are. You guys wanna, I don't know, stand somewhere else? Nah, dude. Why should we move? They're the indecent ones. We are gentlemen. I'm starting to feel these two beers. Yeah, I don't really drink much. I only had one beer before. <laughs> yeah, and you spit it out. Mate, if you don't drink, you really should be careful. No, man, I'm cool. Okay, well, we'll keep an eye on you. We will watch you like hawks. <laughs> Chaperone hawks. Hawks. Thanks, dudes. Chaperone hawks sound pretty cool. Okay, well, there's a lot of conversation here, so we'll keep going. Yep, they're still making out. Okay. <laughs> now, do we talk to, uh... Cole. Hey! May? Is that you? Wow, how are you? Well, earlier this week I dropped out of school, and now I'm drinking in the woods. Oh, <laughs> wow, okay. What the hell is your problem? What? Oh, crap. That didn't go well. Be cool, May. Go get a drink and be cool. That's not a good idea. But, I think we have to. Our third one, it's gonna tip us over the edge. Screw it, I'm doing two beers. I'm doing beer. I still taste tacos. Okay? What? Nothing. Hopefully the tacos may have lined our stomach. I'm not so sure though. Hey beer. Yeah? Oh god. You're drunk. Already. That's why we came out here, right? Not really, I have to drive. And even if I didn't. Well, I don't have my license, so woohoo for me! Hey, beer. What? Who is that? Remember May Borowski? Oh, God. May, you're drunk. You need to go chill by the fire. I'm gonna go run around naked in the woods! Go sit. Now. No. F you. Okay. So May's feeling it a bit, eh? How are my chaperone hawks doing? Hey, Greg! Whoa, dude. You okay, May? Do you think the people making out are on that rock met up there because there's a pool log? Oh my god, I bet there is! A what? You see, it's a log. Where olden days people would put porn. How old are we talking? Like Revolutionary War era? I think there's an old cemetery from them back here somewhere. These woods are full of old ghosts and pool logs and people making out. Hey, Angie, my dad knows your dad. They used to work together back in the 80s. Okay. He used to hang out at the bar with your daddy. Dude, don't ever say daddy again. Psst. What? My dad had to stop drinking because... He was a danger to me and my mum. <laughs> Dude. 
Okay, May, you're not allowed to drink anymore. Ever. Okay, May, I'm a little worried about you. We failed at being chaperone hawks. Someday, Bug. Oh, I forgot you called him Bug. Well, I'm having a great time here in the woods, okay? Greg, don't you think May should maybe sit down? Yeah, dude, you should sit. Dude, sit down by the fire and chill, okay? Ugh, I mean, May, you could, or you could talk to Cole. Probably the worst thing to do, but... Ugh. Ugh, I don't know if I can do this. Okay, we'll sit. That's good. Sober up on a nice warm fire. Oh god, here comes Cole. Hey, May. Hey, Cole Leo. <laughs> wow, I haven't heard that one in forever. It's been like three years. That's not long at all. Well, it was good to see you. I'm just back for a couple of days from school and. Shut up already. What? The girl at the video store is all like, Ooh, cute boys. And you're a cute boy, Cole. Oh, uh, thanks, mate. I, But I hate cute people. Cute is the worst. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna go. And it's not my fault I'm a total trash fire. I got nightmare eyes. And the last thing you see is my eyes outside the window. And then I stab you with my knife. Stab, stab, stab. Boom, dead. When the police get there, you're all nightmare eyes. New nickname. So don't F with me, kid. F the world. Okay, me, you're threatening people now. I'm gonna get in shape and kick all asses. I'm gonna eat everyone, everyone I see. Me, I think you need to F college. Yeah. And all those rich kids and hot people all writing sex and having papers with each other. Close enough. And that damn statue pointing at me every day. It's supposed to be the founder, but just shapes. I, I'm a total trash mammal and nothing is ever going to work out. We never had a chance here, but I can't go anywhere else. I'm home again and I can do something besides sleep and cry alone. Ugh. Because things just, because Things aren't just things here, you know. Oh god. I'm so sick to death. Does that make sense, Co uh, Colio? May, I I'm so sorry. I uh, didn't mean to upset you. I think you're really great. Home again. Woo! Ah! Oh, that was gonna. That was a inevitable, wasn't it? Tacos. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have lined our stomach so heavily. Well, that was a crazy moment. If you puke in this car, so help me. Oh, I owe you an apology, Pia. I'm sorry, I don't even know what happened. You got sloppy ass drunk after what? Three cups of watered down beer? Remember when we used to be best friends? Oh my god. We used to be best friends. The, the, the beer and I still love you, B. I didn't get a word of that. Remember, you used to call me Mayday. And I called you BB. Oh, you mean when we were like 10? No, I don't. Remember when we were scouts together and we caught that turtle? Yeah, Foxy the turtle. He died. I feel like you're mad at me all the time. Why? Why are you so mad at me all the time? <laughs> oh man, if I puke in here, your parents are going to be so mad at me. Tell your mum I'm sorry, okay? She's so nice. God damn it, me. What? My mother is dead. What? She died. Of cancer. Senior year. Oh no, she was so nice. BB, are you okay? How do you not know this? Did you forget about my dead mum? Uh, I guess it's a terrible lapse for memory. I don't like remember anything sometimes. Don't take it personally. What happened to you? He used to be smart. He used to be cool. 
You used to be worth talking to. Why did you even come back? Oh, did college not work out for you? Was it inconvenient? Were you not in the mood? <laughs> I would have killed for that. I still would. I'd kick you out of this moving car right now if it meant I could go to college. <laughs> We're here. Get the hell out of my car. <laughs> oh, God. Let me help you in. Wow. This is this game is starting to amaze me. It really is. I'm not expecting some of the issues that have cropped up. Okay, there you go. I'm sorry, Bia. I'm a mess. You know? Whatever. It's not your fault. You're just a kid. I'm older than you. Two months. Yeah, well. I stayed here and got older. While you went off and stayed the same. <sighs> Good night. Mayday. So there is a lot of stuff that happened that we don't know about. And what is going on here? Well, I think this is all a bit too much for one episode, so I'm going to have to leave it there. But let me just say, I am really enjoying this game. Despite its like cutesy art style, style the issues it's tackling and bringing up, they're just incredibly interesting and so real to life. I think uh, mostly everyone who's maybe old enough can uh, relate to some of the issues that have been brought up here. It's a really amazing game. I love it. So if you enjoyed this episode of Night in the Woods, please go ahead and leave a like. It helps me out a great deal. I do apologise for the terrible voice acting, but what can I say? Uh, if you want to see more, as in what is going on here, looks like we've got a baseball bat. Looks feels like some kind of dream sequence. But anyway, go ahead and subscribe and I'll bring it to you. If you've got any uh, comments or issue issues you want to raise, leave them below and I'll make sure I'll get back to you. Okay, see you.